This tutorial is part of a series of several videos that dive into Oracle R12 and features. Additional videos can be found on IT Convergence's website as well as on our YouTube channel. Hello, my name is Ann Risto and I'm a Managing Principal Instructor with IT Convergence. Today I am here to show you how to personalize a view within Oracle's eBusiness Suite Release 12. As you can see, I am using the Oracle Purchasing Buyer Work Center. However, any form that is in this new HTML format, the quote font interface, that has the personalize and the view capability, you will be able to use this technique. So as you can see, I have currently a list of orders that are displayed based off of the view called My Open Orders. If I wanted to personalize this, all I need to do is, is click the button Personalize. And as you will see, Oracle has delivered what they felt were the, the standard views that I as a buyer would want on this particular form. Notice the grayed out pencils. I am not allowed to update these. These were delivered. But what I am able to do is to take my open orders and I can duplicate it, which is what I will do right now. When you duplicate, you want to go ahead and give this a name. I am going to make this the Corporate Express Orders. And as you can see from the drop down, I, I, I played with this demo already. How many rows do I want to see? Well, I like, I'm a data hog. I want to see everything. So I'm going to choose 25 rows. And as any good developer will tell you, you should always document everything. This will display all of Corp Express orders. You want to make the description because, you know, six months from now you may forget what you did. Here in the middle you have all of the different columns. So as you can see currently on the right what is being displayed is the OU, the operating unit, the order number, the revision, a description, the supplier, the supplier site, the date it was ordered, a total, the currency, the status, acknowledgement, and any descriptive flex fields. Well, in my case, I'm going to take away the descriptive flex fields, and because everything I do is in US dollars, I'll go ahead and I'll remove the currency. But I do want the revised date. So over on the left hand, I have an avail all of my available columns that are available at the time in order to query this. So I'll take the revised date and I will move that over. I also want to find the buyer and I will move that. If I choose to, I could rename the column. So let me go ahead and give you an example of that by choosing Rename co Columns. And instead of description, how about we change it to the cool description? I would not recommend that in a professional setting. Go ahead and hit Apply. And you'll see the result is the cool description. The reason I don't recommend changing names is I find it very difficult to support the end user if the end user is constantly changing names. I'm going to scroll down. How do I want to sort? Well, maybe I want to sort by the actual order number. So it should be out here somewhere. You know, if you were sitting here in front of me, it would be right in front of me. How about we just go ahead and say that we'll do this by a date. By the approval date. And we'll sort it in descending order. Because ultimately all I am trying to show you is the fact that I do have the capability of having a sort. Now, at the bottom is the query. This is really designed so that even my mother is able to do this. Very simple. So as you can see, is the current one, which was my open orders, 
which is what I duplicated was saying I want to find all the orders that are not closed, that are not finally closed. Well, in my case, I want to find all of the corporate express orders, regardless if they are mine or not. So for the my orders, I'm going to go to the blank, which would be, be, not, be, be nothing. The other thing I want to do is find the supplier and add it. So I'm going to choose supplier, hit add, and this is how I'm able to add a column back into my query. So as you can see, I have the supplier is, I have different conditions, it is or it is not. So I'm sticking with is, and I'm going to choose Corporate Express. Now notice this is one of those drop down lists, so all I have to do is find the list of values that is already here. I'm going to go ahead and apply and review results. And it might take a little while for our server to, to get the data. And as you can see, here it is. The Corporate Express orders, they are all open orders. I added, I, I modified the description name to be the cool description. I also added who the buyer was and a revised date. So with that, that is how you customize a view. On behalf of IT Convergence, I would like to thank you for your time and invite you to check out our many Oracle related workshops at www.itconvergence.com slash workshops.